Hi, welcome to another day in lockdown. You'll have noticed over the last couple of videos that the drain cover has been missing. That's been knocked off by the fish flicking and flashing against it. And I thought I'd treat the fluke first and get that sorted out, which is now seems satisfactory, seems okay. So I thought I'd put the cover back on. Me hating cold water or cool water, even though it's 20 degrees, it's not exactly Mexico or the Caribbean, is it? So what I decided to do is uh, pitch an idea off uh, one of the other YouTube channels and that's Righty. Righty designed and made a little pincer for replacing his drain cover. So I've had a go at making one myself and uh, let's see how we get on. I started with a bit of old fence post that measured about 65 by 40 and cut it down the middle from top to bottom. It was about two meters long. So uh, it left me with two strips at about 30 by 40. Just to even it up a bit, I took another skim off one of the sides of the uh, lens of wood just to give it a bit more uh, easy to hold. Then it was a matter of uh, measuring the bottom drain cover against the end of the wood and marking up a little lug or a little square to take out to help grip the bottom drain cover. You can see a bit more clearly here on the close-up that the profile from the bottom of the tongs just matches nicely with the cover of the uh, bottom drain. As I wanted to use the tongs to get the cover as close to the bottom of the uh, drain as possible, I had a very thin profile at the bottom which was made out of a, a, a stainless plate, cut it and shaped it using the jigsaw, countersunk a hole and then screwed it into the bottom of the tongs. I pre-drilled a hole halfway down the length of the wood, uh, suitably sized for an M8 bolt to go through with a set of washers and once I knew the pincers would work I added the bolt to make me a pair of tongs. This completed the idea and then I realised that while I was trying to replace the cover to the bottom drain it might have a, an idea if I had a bit of a bungee cord at the top just to keep the tension on the tongs to keep the cover in the tongs while I located the hole and then I could uh, open the tongs up and release the cover once it was in place. Thanks for a little bit of help from the wife just to finish it off. Uh, boom, job's done. I am going to give a bit of a scrub on that before I put it back in but this is a finished article. It's a pair of wooden tongs and on the bottom, got the trunk taken out and the counter sunk stainless plate on the bottom. There's the bit that I had to add to it. It's a bit of a bad choice on my behalf because the wood had got a couple of knots on it and the knots, knots have cracked. So I just put a couple of strips down the side just to give it a bit of tension in the middle. Got an M8 bolt with a nylock nut on, a couple of washers, and a washer in the middle just to give it a thing. And at the top end, a the bungee cord just to keep the tension onto that end. We'll try this later, we'll video it and see how we get on. Now for the moment of truth, this is where I have to balance gracefully over the ladder to uh, replace the train cover. 
get into place first to make sure I'm comfortable and uh, there's a bit of air under the cover so I had to give it a quick bit of a shake just to make sure it wasn't any resistance and then it was a matter of locating it onto the centre post. I did add a bit of gold label again to the underneath of the cover first and put it into place and bang straight away first time. I took the fungies off once I released the cover and got it in place just so I could open them up and push it at the ends to try and force it down to make sure it was comfortable. Quite easy, quite quick, quite simple. Very impressed to be fair. And then just uh, added a, uh, one of the nets with uh, a paving slab in there just to keep the weight on it while it went off. Guess what? Job's a carrot. Here's a few of the tools that we use to make it. You don't need all these, just a saw and a screwdriver would be fine. You can make a, many variations of it. On the bench. From start to finish, uh, including packing up, it took me exactly an hour. And that included replacing the cover on the pond and uh, all the tools away and tidying up etc. So it, it saved me a lot of hassle of draining the water, climbing in on the slippy floor, bending over, pushing in and such. This was all done from above ground by just straddling the pond and refitting the cover. I'll leave you with a few uh, underwater shots of the fish so you can see how happy they like it. Some of them are a bit nosy when the camera goes in and they can't tell but come over and have a look. But uh, all in all, looking good. like what you're seeing hit the like button subscribe and enjoy thank you happy ponding